Hello, hello. Sorry it's been for a while since I've done other videos, you know, just stuff comes up, stress, uh, the connection issue. Um, I'm going to do a video and I'll try not to do a long one because I'm outside and I'll eat mosquitoes. Um, but I'm doing three videos today. You guys can stand it. Um, this one's going to be about money and my point of view on it and what it should be used and how to balance yourself out. Um, well, like, right now there's not much I can do about my money situation. I don't have any money. I don't have a job. Um, but my opinion on money is a lot, which I'm going to just give you a short short um my opinion on money um well currently where i'm staying at these people i'm living with um the woman just really blows my mind on how she uses her money and as far as i know she uses money um she uses food stamps for groceries and there's nothing wrong with doing that when you really need it. Damn mosquito. There's really nothing wrong with that. It's just the fact is that the thing is with using um what is it called? With using it is the fact that how she uses it is just not right in my opinion because it's like you think if you use it you would use it in such a way that um sorry these mosquitoes are really bugging me walk over here um, the problem with using food stamps is when you don't calculate how much you're gonna need and you pretty much just waste it Wasted on junk, wasted on things that don't really, you need it. And the odd thing about it is that she doesn't really buy a whole lot with what she got. And I don't know if it's the food stamps in general that she has, but I know that she has told someone I know that, you know, she spends a thousand dollars on groceries okay um if you spend that much in a month why is it when i and someone else was on food stamps for a couple months only like three months why is it at the end of the month we at least had 150 left over and we got 300 she got 500 it, it just it just blows my mind because it's it's not really using common sense it's just getting 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 and then you're not even you're not even organized and then the thing like if i was to go in the kitchen and show you everything that we normally get it would just be like hello what the heck i mean that's what i say every day because like even when she does get food stamps and I'm not trying to sound like I'm gossiping here. I'm just giving my opinion. And what is just really messed up about the situation I'm in. Yeah, a lot of it's my fault. I don't have a job. But I'm trying to do the best I can. But anyways, the odd thing about it is you can go and look in the refrigerator right now. Or the freezer. And on a normal average, she will buy milk, eggs, and bread. And maybe some sandwich stuff but it, it's not gonna last it's not gonna last long and this is where my input comes on shopping and people have their different opinions but in my opinion what's the sense of getting stuff that's not going to last or what's the sense of getting stuff that isn't really nutritious and I know some people they eat junk all the time and they don't realize that me yeah I have to eat junk because that's pretty much what I have to eat but like, for example, my parents were poor and they didn't make a whole lot, but when they did get food, we got groceries. Oh, we got, got groceries. Yeah, we got groceries. We got vegetables. 
we got things that was going to stretch us. And yeah, I'm not much of a macaroni cheese person. I'm not this, but it, it just blows my mind because pretty much what I live off of is milk, cereal, eggs, and bread and sandwiches. And you know, it just, it's ridiculous. It's really ridiculous. That's not much of a budget. And if you are getting food stamps, whether it's either 300 a month or 500 a month, you should at least get stuff that is going to last. Like my opinion on it, I get bulks of stuff. With the money that I ever get or ever did, I make crock pot foods, you know? I make different things that are going to last a couple days or so and not just be gone because it's crazy. There's like six people in the house. But yet, in one day, she can get milk. Like right now, she can get milk. And by tomorrow, it'll be gone. I mean, it's ridiculous. Get two if you have to or get three, you know? And it, it, just, it just boggles my mind. And I'm not trying to sound like I'm gossipy. I'm just saying, in my opinion, like if you know you 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 uh, go without something or not go without something if you know that something you eat on a regular basis it's going to go fast why don't you get three of it instead of just one you know it save you a lot of heartache a lot of stress and it's it's not normal it's not because yeah, most people, if it's just them, yeah, if it's just me, it's one thing. But if you're dealing with, like, six people in your house, and you're trying to make things stress, and I think a lot of times, <clears throat> like, she claims she has food stamps, whether they're five or three hundred a month, but yet, why are you broke? And the thing is, that does not make any sense to me. It makes sense if you go to the store and you're out of something. But in this case, you're not. Or every day you're out of something, it seems like. Um, what's just odd about it is, you know, every day she goes to the store. Is that really necessary to go to the store every day? And to me, what would save money, I, I've been wanting to do this, but it just has not worked out. It's like... I want to start a garden, but it's not going to work out here, you know? It's just we have a big backyard, but people are dumb enough, they won't even ask. And I think that's why the tomato plant that I plant died, because people just mow over it like it's nothing. They don't even ask. And people knew that I was planting the tomato plant. It's just, you can't do anything. Honestly, what saves money is balancing out. You know, what do you go through? And there's that saying I always heard from my ex. You know, your needs versus your want. Yeah, you want this chocolate cake. But what do you actually need? And it's annoying. You know, she'll complain that she doesn't have much food. But yet, you know, she buys ice cream. Yeah, I love ice cream. I can live on ice cream, but it's not very healthy. Anyways, that's just my input. You know, if you're going to use your money, use it wisely and try to get a budget going instead of just flauntingly just waste money. It's like if you actually have a thousand worth, like for me, if I had a thousand worth to spend a thousand dollars on food, there would be evidence of it. In this case scenario, there's no evidence with her because there's not. You look in the fridge right now, uh, where's the thousand dollars worth of food that you're getting a month? That doesn't make sense. It's not adding up. And I feel like, you know, I'm stuck in the middle. Yeah, I need to get a job. And it's, it's difficult out here because the economy's messed up. I don't know how many times I went to one place and it was just nothing. It's like, what's the point of coming here trying to get a job if you're not even going to take it serious? It's just freaking annoying. Anyways, if you like this video, like it, subscribe it, share it with your friends, and just use your money wisely. That's all I gotta say.